hey you guys we're back with another video i told y'all that i was uploading all week long so i decided to give y'all this video this video is like really quick um well still like 20 something minutes but that's pretty quick for me i was just doing some press-ons because i think i'm gonna go out tomorrow but i am not sure so just in case i wanted my hands to be done my nails to be done and I usually never have my right hand done. So I was like, let me be prepared and not be last minute. So I decided to do some quick press-ons. And these only took me about an hour um, to do. And right here, I'm just cutting the press-ons. These are press, these are full cover tips that I got from Amazon, I think. Um, I do not buy a lot of uh, full cover tips just because I don't do, I don't sell press-ons because I'm not that confident in doing them. But anyway, I was just cutting them um, really short because I wanted my right hand to be short as I do stuff with my right hand. I am right hand dominant. So that's what I did right there. And I just went ahead and I filed the um, the tips. There we go. <laughs> so now I'm just wiping off the excess dust or whatever may be on the nails with the alcohol wipe. And uh, well, it's a lint free wipe and I just put alcohol on it. And after I do that, I am going to be actually demonstrating how I use my uh, Dior foils. And those are on my website. I still have a lot in stock. Now you do get 10 in a box. You get 10 in one box, 10 rolls in one box. And this is just one roll right here. So y'all like even one box is gonna last you a very, very long time. And right here, I'm just cutting off a very small piece. And y'all are gonna see just how much this small piece covers as far as how many nail tips it will cover. But I'm going ahead and I'm using my mini LED UV lamp. And I'm going ahead and curing that. Um, I actually put a little bit more gel on it um, just because I felt like I had wiped it off a little bit. So that was my second time actually putting the gel on and curing it. But um, I'm going ahead and I'm just pressing it firmly down, like really, really firmly. And y'all, I'm literally like doing this for days, okay? Like days. Yeah, come on, please. Come on. Come on over here. I was like, dang, come on now. Like, Lord, how long am I going to do this for? But y'all, it just, you know how a itch, like you can't stop scratching it until you feel like it's completely gone. That's how this was. I just had to keep rubbing it until I felt like it was going to stick how I needed it to stick. <laughs> so it ended up coming out really nice, you guys. Like, as y'all could see, anytime I felt like little pieces were missing, I just pushed it back down and rubbed it a little more. And that is how you get the remainder of the foil on the nail. So it's super easy, you guys. Like, it takes nothing to do this. These are so cute designs. You can leave them like this and just put a clear coat over it, which I've seen some people do. But most people do it how I'm going to show you. And I'm not the best at ombre. So please don't get me wrong. Like, this is not perfect at all, the ending result. Um, I do think that I could have did better. And I also kind of wish that I used um, like a, a light pink to match this to ombre it into. But I don't know what I was thinking. I just grabbed whatever was close, which was my milk bath. And that's what I had on my desk at the time. So I didn't really think this through. I just went ahead and did it. And as y'all can see, I am still using the remainder of the little piece of foil that I had. So this has already covered about three nails with that one little square piece of foil that I cut. Now y'all, as I'm editing, I really don't know what happened, but my voiceover was not matching with the video. So I don't know if I added a clip or if I deleted a clip. Hopefully this video comes out right. If not, I'm so sorry. But right here, I am lining the foil up on the edge of the nail and I am just pressing it very firmly. And sometimes you will get wrinkles in the foil so just be careful when you're doing it like that because it can get a little tricky
how they look before any um, top coat, any ombre, any acrylic added, anything added to it. Um, this is how much I used. I only used those two pieces for five nails. So you could actually use the remainder of that for the additional five nails if they are this same length. I'm going ahead and I'm using the milk bath and this is milk bath. That's what it looks like. That color right there. Um, if you want it to be a color like this, I will link a picture of another set that I did with a milk bath set. I mean with the, um, a milk bath shade. If you want it to look like that, then um, you will just lay it on uh, not as wet. But if you want to see how I got that look with the milk bath nails on my left hand, I will link the video for you all right here. And you can go check that out. Super, super cute set. I got a lot of likes and shares on Facebook from doing that set. Everybody loved it. A lot of people actually said that they have never heard of milk bath sets, which I was surprised um, to see on Facebook, but on Instagram, it's a thing. So um, definitely go check that video out if you have not seen it. It was super easy, super cute to do, and it's very springtime-ish. So we're going ahead and we're taking the top coat, my favorite top coat right now, which is from Dynamic Nail Supply. It's um, the tempered glass one, and it's like super clear, you guys. That's why I love it. And I love how it cures. Like, I like how it comes out of the lamp. It's super, super nice. Like, no tacky layer. I don't have to wipe it. I literally don't have to do anything to it. I can put it on my nail cure it and be gone out the house and I'm good to go so I went ahead and did that like look y'all I was showing y'all that it was like a little smile in my um powder <laughs> but anyway uh, well I don't even know if that was a smile you guys it looked a little um it looked a little mean but anyway so I'm going ahead and I am basically just trying to ombre it down now disclaimer I suck at ombres okay so this is like my second time doing even trying to do an ombre so I don't even know why I chose this color I really should have chose a color that was more that was pink like a light light a super light translucent pink I feel like that would have been a lot easier um, to fade into this pink Dior. But if you know how to do ombre, this will be super easy for you. I just need more practice. I've literally only done one ombre finger ever on YouTube. And I don't think I've ever done them on my actual hands either. So, oh no, I have done some ombre on my fingers. I have done, I've, I've done a few sets. But um, but ombre is hard for me when it comes to just two separate colors. Now, when it comes to colors like um, doing like tie dye looks or something like that, it's kind of easier for me just because nothing has to be perfect with tie dye or just doing like marble sets, stuff like that. Nothing has to be perfect. So it was a little easier than this. However, we got through it. There were some fingers on this that I felt were better than others. Like I think the pointer finger and the, I think my pointer finger and my pinky were my favorite ones. Now I forgot to tell y'all when I, um, when I did that top coat on the nails, I did that because that is going to protect um, the foil, foil transfer from actually fading away when you are applying acrylic. I was just showing y'all how buttery my acrylic is. Like I'm really proud of this color. And the only reason that I priced it a little higher than my other acrylics is because it takes like a while to get the exact ratio of the mixture to make this milky color so that is why they're a little higher priced but anyway they're still good i have acrylics up there for 5.99 and then um some for 8.99 and then i also have my raw glitters those are only 2.99 if you want to go check those out but yeah i am done with all of the nails i am putting them on my finger just to see how uh, accurate they are, which they never are. And this is why I don't do press-ons because I suck at them. Even when I pre-size, I still suck. So I'm just taking a file and I'm just gonna run y'all through real quick of what I'm doing and talk to you about how I file the nails um, versus going through each individual nail and telling you. So what I do to file these nails is I go ahead 
and I take a 80 80 80 grit file or I'll take like a hundred hundred file um that's the lowest I go and or that's the highest I should say I go on a grit for filing um and I am taking it around the cuticle area I am filing on top of the cuticle area here I'm just showing y'all how thin the nail was that's how thin you want your press-ons to be you do not want thick press-ons trust me girl you don't want it so then I put some nail glue on and I just literally pressed it back into the nail like pushed it back into the nail I should say you don't want to just place it on top and press it down because that is not going to give you a natural look you want it to look like it's literally growing from out of your matrix out of your cuticle okay so that is what I did there and I went ahead and I did that to all the other nails now I'm just showing y'all the length because I made my right hand a lot uh, shorter just because I did not want my nails long on my right hand as I do everything with my right hand. So now I'm just taking the file and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to file down the cuticle to make it seamless. Now I am using my five in one bit. This bit will be on my site in about two weeks for purchase and I'm not going to price that. No, $25. I be seeing people price these bits on their website for $25 y'all like $15 $25 they're not going to be that expensive so y'all don't even trip I got them for y'all and they about to come in and y'all can purchase from me because I'm not about to rip y'all off <laughs> but anyway so I am going ahead and I'm taking this five in one bit I am also um having my speed on 12 uh, RPMs and I am putting it on 12 just because the higher you go with some of these files the smoother it is going to be it will not skip on you it shouldn't be skipping at all that might be something with your nail drill but sometimes if you have it on a super super low speed it's not going to do what it needs to do you guys like it just goes a lot smoother when you have it on a higher speed so I am putting this on 12 rpms to do even my cuticle area and this is i have a fine i have a coarse and i have a medium grit five and one bit um this one is the fine one but sometimes i'll use the medium one as well um and they do not cut you you guys like they're so nice to use they are safety bits so you will not cut your client you will not cut yourself like you can even put it on your skin and i promise you like i show y'all right here that um it's you can get as close to your skin as you want to you're not going to unless you're doing something crazy you're not going to cut yourself with these bits so you guys we are almost at 700 subscribers yesterday i think i was at like 660 we are now at like 680 overnight and i just know by tomorrow night we are going to be at 700 so i have to figure out what i'm gonna do to my hair y'all because <laughs> I'm looking crazy and I said that I was going to give y'all a Q&A video. Now, I do not have a ton of questions um, for the Q&A video, so it's probably going to be super short. I might combine it with some other stuff that I want to talk to you guys about, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I did tell y'all to drop some questions below that you would like answered in my Q&A video, um, but... I do have enough right now to make a video so i'm going to go off of those questions that you all gave me and i will do that and then 300 more subscribers after that 700 we are doing another giveaway and it's 1k giveaway and that's going to be like my last subscriber number giveaway for a while the next one is not going to be until 5,000 subscribers i might sneak on it at 3,000. i'm not sure yet but I plan to do 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000, and so on and so forth. Um, but y'all know I'm always getting stuff. I'm always buying stuff. So we're probably going to have a little more giveaway freebies, whatnot, in, um, throughout the whole time I'm gaining followers. So or subscribers I'm sorry I keep calling them followers they're subscribers but yeah you guys we just went ahead I filed the rest of them off camera fixed the cuticles up got them real cute 
and we are taking the top coat the you know y'all know the top coat that i'm using the dynamic nail supply um top coat is the tempered glass kind on their website love it it's that along with the ultimate gel finish i think for young nails those are my two favorite um top coats nobody else is topping it or seeing them right now with the top coat so I just went ahead and I got that as close to the cuticle as I could. And you guys, that was my favorite nail. So I had to show y'all. My pointer finger was my favorite one. And I went ahead and I did all the nails in top coat. I, um, I ended up uh, putting some of my cuticle oil on my nails. And you guys, that was like literally it. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next as far as nails. Give me some ideas, y'all. Like I get all my ideas from Instagram, but I need some ideas from y'all. I want to know what y'all want to see. So I will see y'all in the next video. All right, later. Mwah.